this week on the Hoover Boys. Dude, we haven't found anything today. Oh, gosh. Yeah, this is... Dude, can somebody take this? I, I already have to be kidding me. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> oh, man, look at that. Oh, my God. Easy does it. Oh, please. Easy does it. Dude, it's a gold coin. You ready for it, Mark? Oh, my God. I still have to get chainsaw. Yeah, set. this is dumb. <laughs> this is dumb. I knew it was thicker than your average copper, dude. Well, I'd like to welcome you to this week's episode of the Hoover Boys. Unfortunately, this past weekend, I was out of town, so I couldn't do any treasure hunting. I was visiting my boy Chris. You guys might know him as the 44 guy. Woo! 44, ladies, that's me! His wife threw a surprise party for him, so I couldn't miss that. While we were out of town, I also brought my family to see Niagara Falls. Believe me when I say this, after seeing it in person, no picture or video I've ever seen of Niagara Falls has done it any justice. If you ever get the chance, please go check out Niagara Falls. It was absolutely incredible. Since I wasn't in town to do any treasure hunting, this week I'm going to make an episode of my five greatest metal detecting finds of all time. And we're gonna start it off with that one thing that every treasure hunter has always wanted to find. This is a video of my very first gold coin. I don't know what I just saw, but my heart rate is through the roof, dude. Right. You okay? What do you got? What do you got? Uh, I, saw, I saw a crazy reaction from you. I, I just hope I didn't freaking hit it, dude. Look, look, dude. Oh. Oh, oh my god, I, I think you got one. Am I on it? I think you have one. Oh I'm god. pretty sure you have one. Come here, come here, come here. It was straight up and down. I was digging here. Oh my god. Come on, come on, come on. Careful. Oh my god. Easy does it. Oh, please. Easy does it. Dude, it's a come, gold coin. Come on. Come on. <laughs> it's big. It's okay. big. It's big. It's the same as yours. It's the same as yours. <laughs> oh, please be clean. I don't think I got it. I don't think. <laughs> I'm not crying, but I feel like I am. Cry it out, buddy. Try it out. 1740, dude. It's you got older. A, you got an old one. You got an old one, man. Holy hell. Hey Andy. Hey Andy. Andrew. <laughs> He's working harder. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, he did it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you did it. <laughs> There's a big rock on it right there. <laughs> I don't want you to see it. I want you to drop it in his hand. Just hold it. Just, just hide it. Hide it. Hide it. Hide it. He got a he got a decent find. It's pretty cool. It's cool, man. It's pretty cool. It's pretty decent. <laughs> and he goes down. And Andy oh. goes down. Nice ring. Oh my god. <laughs> Let, me hold it. Let me see what a whole gold coin feels like. I was like, I guess I'll dig this, dude. It sounded bad. It was straight up and down. Yeah. It was straight up and down, dude. <laughs> I didn't get it. No, did you're I? good. You, yours is different. It's got a little. Uh, it's got a little puppy dog under, under Louie. It's Louis the fifteenth. It's definitely got some roll around marks. It's 1740. Yeah. I got. I'm in the colonial. You're, gold you're gold. colonial. <laughs> <laughs> Just wanted to go out and have a little fun today. And thank oh. you for not finding this one, bro. <laughs> Stuff like that happens. Well, oh. Merry Christmas to me. I, 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 I'm. This does not feel real at all. Somebody smack me in the face. I'm gonna smack your hole. With your flossy probe? Yeah. Oh my god. I was not expecting that at all. Yeah, you're, you, when you looked up at me with this crazed man look in your <laughs> eye. I gotta put it in my mouth. Well, it's heavy. Yeah. <laughs> he says I, I can't can, be two in dude, one we field. Haven't, I haven't dug a hole in a month. I haven't dug a hole in a month until today. Holy poopy. Wait a long, long time. 
for that for that piece of yellow deliciousness. Unbelievable! There you go. All right, let, let me get a real close up. Of this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Right. Close up time. Yeah. Is that your first hole out here? King Louis the Fifteenth. Gold coin. <laughs> 1740. <laughs> it's the same coin. That's <laughs> it's the same coin as Brad's last gold coin. <laughs> Apparently, the the, the French brought these over with them. A, the A's the mint. That's about all I can tell you. That thing is insane. <laughs> Absolutely insane. When I got the signal, it was like 50. It was right around 50. I was calling cufflink because we pulled some cufflinks out of here. But it was straight up and down. <laughs> and Brad owes me 50 bucks. <laughs> just, just watching you walk away from the Dude, it was I wasn't expecting to see this. I mean whoever is. 1740 colonial gold coin. I mean maybe the French brought these over during the, the American Revolution or something. I have no idea. But we actually moved sites. This is the same gold coin field as where Brad found his earlier this year. Is that a gold coin? Oh, holy crap! It's the same French thing you found! And I'm probably 50 feet away from where he found his. What was yours? A 17... Your last one. What year? Yeah, I know. 1774. 1770-something. Yeah, it was a 1773 or 1774. Yeah. Yep. What matters is my broken one is older. Yeah, your broken one is older. But uh, I finally did it. Yeah. A pre-colonial gold coin. Now the gold coin field. Now, now it's definitely the gold coin field. Oh, now? We weren't going to come back here this year, but I messaged the uh, the farmer and he said, you guys are fine. This is just some, some winter crop for uh, just a cover crop. So... I'm glad we decided to come back. <laughs> All right, I, I'm going to turn off the camera and just sort of let this soak in because I'm, I'm still floating right now. Recheck your hole, sir. Uh, I'm going to be circling this hole for the rest of the day. Okay. All right. <laughs> Woo wee! Mm. Oh, that copper was right over there. Those are good numbers. Yeah, I'm going to call that a two reals. This is too good. Hey, Silver. Oh, no, a rock. There's a rock. There's some iron over there. It's not deep. If it's going to be there, it's going to be there. Ugh. That, just another copper. <laughs> just another copper. Um, that dude, that's, that's thick. Crazy dude, thick. look how thick that is. That's stupid. Dude, is that Liberty Cap? Oh, I want to That's see really it. thick. Dude, that's really thick. It looks a like hair big for a half cent though. No, it, it, it's not a half cent. It's, it's, I think it's a Liberty Cap or flowing hair. It's one of the older ones, dude. Ah, oh, come on, give me something. Or it's foreign. No, it's. It, I think it's. I think it's thick fat U.S. Oh, it's a chain scent. No, dude, it's, it's a chain scent. Look at the chain, dude. It's a freaking chain scent. Can you see that, dude? It's a chain scent. I don't see it. You don't see the chain? I swear it's a chain scent. Look right there. You can't see it in the camera. Oh really my god, dude! Scent. It's a chain scent. Dude, it's a freaking chain scent. All right, let's uh. Well, that would be a, it'd be 1793, freaking U.S. Yeah, let's uh, hair chain scent. Let's let's pause here, and we'll uh, do a little cleanup action. <laughs> I still have to get chain scent. Yeah, this is dumb. <laughs> this is dumb. I knew it was thicker than your average copper, dude. Oh, please have some details. Please have some details. Well, this is the obverse. There's not a whole lot going on. I didn't want to field clean it too too rough. Uh, you can see Lady Liberty's forehead there facing to the right. The back is the, the tall tail sign. 
Uh, it still needs to dry out a little bit. I didn't fill it. It's just wet from the ground, being in the ground. But there's no doubt about it. There's a one cent in the middle of that chain. That is a chain cent. That is a 1793 US cent. One cent. 1793 chain cent. I cannot believe it. This is a dream coin. This is a dream coin. Wish it was in a little better condition, but it might look a little better after it dries out. There's no doubt about it though. I just found a chain scent. Oh my God. I think we should have a little history lesson. The first United States Mint was created by Congress in 1792. The Mint building happened to be in Philadelphia, which was the capital of the United States at the time. The Mint experimented with a few coin designs in 1792, including the birch scent you always hear Bob talking about. Starting in February of 1793, the chain scent was struck and became America's first large scent produced for circulation by the United States Mint. Unfortunately, when these coins hit the streets of Philadelphia, the public reaction to the coin was largely negative. One newspaper criticized the appearance of Lady Liberty, saying that she appeared to be in a fright. <laughs> Now the freely flowing hair design was meant to represent freedom and liberty, but it was said to be too wild for women of the time. On the reverse, the chain had been intended to symbolize the togetherness of the newly formed Union and the 15 links representing the 15 United States in 1793. Many commentators instead interpreted the chain to be a representative of slavery. The reverse of the coin was quickly changed to the wreath back design. Eventually, in 1793, they changed the obverse to the Liberty with Cap design. On the Liberty Cap design large scent, Lady Liberty had a much tamer hairdo, and the cap that sits behind her head represents freedom. Caps such as these were given to slaves when they became free. Now, back to the chain scent. It's said that only 36,103 of these coins were ever minted. Out of that number, only 1-2% to still exist today. That's only a couple hundred. Making this an extremely rare coin. Now, some coins of this design have been sold at auction for over a million dollars. Well over a million dollars. Obviously, one dug out of the ground isn't going to have that kind of value. I'm never going to sell it anyway. Because to me, this is a priceless piece of American history. Quick trivia question. Who was the President of the United States in 1793? If you said George Washington, you are correct. There's only one thing left to do. I gotta kiss Liberty. First Lady Liberty ever. Chain sent. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. It's not a f***ing coin. It, it wasn't a coin. Dude, it's an old belt plate. <laughs> Look at the coat tilt of the thing. It's an eagle, bro. It's an eagle, bro. Look at it. <laughs> oh my gosh. You feel yourself, man, buddy? I don't need to hunt anymore. After. What else are we hunting Here, for? Here, so somebody what? take this. <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna get the big one. Oh, oh, oh. oh. 95 degree goosebumps. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh Seriously? man, look at that! Oh <laughs> my god! <laughs> Do you want a soft brush? I've yes. never heard you react like Holy that. Something out of the Dude, I am that's shaking. You are shaking. Because we knew it was, it was a bigger Holy signal than a coin, but it, you know, it was I ringing up in the 80s. Was oh, you gotta dig it all, Bobby. Oh, oh my God, look at that eagle! Crack. Oh my God, dude, a little lemon dude, juice lighting. on this thing. Yeah, it says uh, E. Pubersunum. One of many. Oh my God, look at the. <laughs> Tone that, I'm looking at it through the camera and it's just like Is it beautiful oh or my what? Gosh. That's oh. stupid. That's period too. That ain't no reproduction. I nope. found them like that as a reproduction. Nope, that's legit. That's it right there. Thanks for history. Congratulations, man. I mean, let me see. Wow. I'm gonna say 1820s to when 1840s. You, when you ran, I 
sitting there with the dead. I just saw him drop something and he started backing away like oh it was a hand grenade. Oh my god. That could be your best find for a long, long time, man. Enjoy that. I like this field. That's all for mailman. I like this field, That's all for mailman's bag. <laughs> so you go KG2 to, to what, 1812 militia play? What mailman is it? Bag. I mean, it might be 1812. I'm, I'm guessing it's somewhere between 1820s and 1840s. But yeah, some sort of militia. Belt buckle. Oh my god, look at the guilt on that thing. Look at the guilt on that thing. <laughs> That's ridiculous. It's the cooling vest. Thanks, Brad. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> Thank John from Pyramex. <laughs> Holy well, like these fields, you know how many like deep tags and just random crap that come up? Well, and I saw that and I'm like, ah, here's a piece of junk. And then I give it one brush and saw that eagle. <sighs> Look at the cannons. <laughs> This is going to be a good field. Let's go have some fun, boys. <laughs> well, here she is all cleaned up. Unfortunately, she's missing her hardware. You can see where the pin broke off and the hook broke off. I cleaned her up with some lemon juice and a very soft brush and sealed it with some Renaissance wax. On the 1820s militia belt plate, the Eagles had a shorter, fatter neck. This one is, in fact, the model 1810, which saw its first service in the War of 1812. And there's an extremely good possibility that this buckle has been to war. The turning point of the War of 1812 was fought just down the road in 1814. The Maryland militia that was from this county was in fact on Hampstead Hill and helped defeat the British during the Battle of Baltimore. Now I do not know the exact origin of this belt plate. I don't know who it belonged to. I had narrowed it down to a few names. It was obviously somebody of high ranks because it was gold gilted. All that stuff is really fun to speculate. About a month ago, I put out a video on this buckle when I dug it, explaining how this is the favorite thing I've ever found. Not only because of its local history, but because of its American history. Because who would have known what would have happened if the British overtook us during that war? It's my favorite thing I've ever found. I'm in awe. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. On with the show. Oh my God. Button. It was like a 65, like a dead 65. <laughs> it's beautiful. I don't even think I had the camera pointing at me. I'm all kinds of messed up. Facebook marks on there. <laughs> this is this is better than any piece of any coin that I could find. I just found a real piece of history. <laughs> it's it, it's a lead button. And it's freaking gorgeous. You ready? You ready for it, Mark? Oh my god. Oh my god. It's a Revolutionary War lead USA button. And it's phenomenal. It's in phenomenal it's condition. It looks brand spanking new. Holy. Dude, I got Bambi legs. Wow, that is absolutely beautiful. Oh my god. Wow. Congratulations. Thank you. We, we came back to the uh, water spot where Mark got the cob and I found my oldest silver. And Hi. How are you? I can't believe that. Very good. That is insane. That's a real piece of history. That's something I'm going to treasure forever. We're playing around up river. We figure we come back here and visit for a while. I'm blown away. I am blown away. That's history right there. So where were you? What area? We're having fun and saving history. <laughs> the trusty old Albert's button book. A record of American uniform and historical buttons. Let's see how hard it is to find this button in the Albert's button book. Get through the first few pages of Flim Flam. And the very first page of actual buttons, here it is. Continental Army General Service cast pewter one piece with reeded border. USA coat button. That was easy. Words cannot describe the overwhelming emotions I had. When I flipped this button over and saw that USA. Every detectorist has their own goals when they're out in the field treasure hunting. For this group, it's always been about saving the coins and relics our forefathers lost while building this country. 
And to us, it doesn't get much better than saving a piece of history from the American Revolutionary War. And it doesn't get more American than finding a button cast with USA on it. These Continental Army buttons are cast in pewter, which is very brittle. And typically when they're dug out of the ground, the soil destroys them. These buttons are so rare and highly collectible that even ones in terrible condition I've seen sold online for upwards of a thousand dollars. Now I've never seen one in this good of condition so my guess is it's worth a few thousand dollars if not several thousand dollars. Front and back shank everything is absolutely stunning on this button. To me, in my eyes, the historical value always outweighs the monetary value. This is a priceless piece of American history and it was an absolute honor to be able to dig it out of the ground and save it. It's automatically one of my favorite finds ever. And it takes my breath away. On with the show. Paul, you're going to kill me. Bob, come here. No, are you serious? I'm... <laughs> In this yard? <laughs> well, there's the old house. I, I got the shakes. Bob, come here. Look at this. No. Oh, look at the size of that thing. What is it? Gotta hold it down so I can see it. Yeah, Stop it's like shaking. Seven feet in the air. No, dude. What? I didn't see anything on it yet. <laughs> it's, 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 a, it's a 13, 13 colony, colony GW button. Oh my god. Look at it. It's shaking. Um, dude, we haven't found anything oh today. Oh gosh. Get this is. Dude, can somebody take this? I, I already hit it. You're kidding me. <laughs> I already hit it. That's with, my button, bro. I already, hit, I already hit it with water, unfortunately, because it was. I don't know. What oh, to do. that's a 13 colony button, <laughs> this is, dude. It's a really Just nice. Just brush condition. the brush the water oh, off. Look at that. You need really somebody to hold your arm steady. I don't know. <laughs> brush the water off and then let it dry. Oh. It's and it's oh my goodness! Look at, look at that. that. No. <laughs> dude. That's the one oh, <laughs> Dude, that's my button, man. Come on. Uh, let, let me. Oh my goodness. Perfect too. Let me take my time go. with this and go, clean man. it up. <laughs> wow, excellent you job. Nice. No. I have never hunted at my property uh, yet. Wow. Well, uh, you can uh, take the rest of the day off. Uh, 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 yeah, you can go to the truck yeah, now. It's lunchtime. Yes, <laughs> my gosh. Dig your buttons. Oh, I'm just gonna let it dry out from here. That's the one. That's the one I've always dreamed about digging. And it's 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 pretty much perfect. George Washington, long live the president, the thirteen original colonies encircled around the rim. I'm definitely floating right now. I'm I'm speechless. Yeah. It's probably the most historic thing I've ever found. And I've found some pretty cool stuff over the years. <laughs> Whew. On April 30th, 1789, George Washington made history becoming the first president of the United States of America. A variety of commemorative buttons with patriotic designs were sold and worn by Washington supporters. The Link States design happens to be my personal favorite George Washington button. It's the one that I wanted to find. When I got it home, I flaked out every little piece of dirt I could find with a toothpick and a Q-tip and a microscope. When I was finally happy with it, I sealed it with some Renaissance wax. I think it turned out absolutely beautiful. It has some wear, but it's been in the ground for over 200 years. Trooper Bry, you were right. It happened when I least expected it to. This is my best find ever. And that's gonna do it. That was my five greatest metal detecting finds of all time. Me personally, I can't really rank them first to last. You guys are welcome to rank them in the comment section. Or if you wanna tell me what your greatest five metal detecting finds of all time are, put them in the comment section. But thank you guys for watching. Hopefully next week we can get out and make a fresh new adventure. Until then, help clean up the ground, dig it all and take your trash with you. Why? because all holes matter. You never know when the next hole is gonna be your greatest find of all time. And there they are all laid out together. Oh my goodness, so many amazing memories. Chain scent, look at that thing. 
We got a 1740 pre-colonial massive gold coin. War of 1812 officer belt buckle. Revolutionary War USA cast lead pewter button. And a George Washington button. Link states design. Oh, it's so cool to see them all together. And I'm gonna love them all until the day I die. bucks at the casino and split that was great that was awesome what are you doing i'm recording you because I, I found something come on that you've never found before so you didn't even you didn't even tell me because you knew i would like give you hell about it and ride you until you didn't tell me anything <laughs> you got one yeah i got one of them too 20 feet apart stop <laughs> stop no when like not long after we got back from england are you so? When, oh, when, you got it. When Bob and I went and saw Paul. Yeah. <laughs> I wish Bob was here for it, but I can never get you guys together anymore. Oh. Yeah, I got one. Oh I'm in the club. I'm in the club. <laughs> yeah. I'm in the club. That's the most beautiful one of all three of them. <laughs> Somebody had to do it. What's going on here, Bobby? <sighs> I saw you over here stabbing at the ground. I was. It's got to be a good signal. This, this is the signal. Jeez. Brad is having heart palpitations right now. <laughs> I'm sorry, Bradley, but. It's, it's the only way it. sometimes.